Hey guys, Leia here from Unbox, and this is our full review of the Honor 8X. I know that a lot of you are really interested in this device, and you should be, because for only 12,990 pesos, you get all these amazing features. Still, we're not saying that this is a perfect phone. To begin with, it still uses a micro USB port instead of a USB Type-C, which we all want, but all things considered, it's really a good buy. While other phones within the same price bracket uses acrylic, the Honor 8X has a real glass back panel with an aluminum frame. I must admit, it makes it look and feel premium. Now, our review unit came in black, and while I think that the other colors are sexier, the black one isn't really bad. If you look at it, it's classy and you just can't go wrong with it. Then again, because it is made out of glass, you do have to be extra careful of scratches or dropping your phone. And for my ultimate pet peeve, it is a fingerprint magnet, so a microfiber cloth would come in really handy. The SIM tray can accommodate two SIM cards and a micro SD expansion up to 256 gigabytes. While the speakers are not all that great, it does have a 3.5mm jack so it's easy to connect it to your headphones or the speaker of your choice. And believe me, you'd want to because consuming content on the 8X is an awesome experience thanks to its display. It has a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD panel that's big, bright, and produces excellent colors. It's perfect for media junkies. You can quickly and conveniently unlock your phone using facial recognition, although personally, I still prefer the fingerprint scanner just because it's more secure. The Honor 8X runs on Huawei's homegrown Kirin 710 chipset. This is the same processor used in the Nova 3i and it's more than capable of keeping the phone quick, fluid, and lag-free. If you're into mobile gaming, it performs pretty well, but you may have to turn down graphical settings to get better results. We do have a separate gaming review video and I will link it somewhere on screen, so do check it out. For its base unit, the 8X has 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Now this is more than what you'll get in most phones within its price range. It runs EMUI on top of Android 8.1, and while we still prefer stock Android, Huawei's UI overlay has matured enough that it doesn't get in the way most of the time. Of course, we can't do this review without talking about the cameras. It has a 20 megapixel rear shooter with an aperture of f1.8 and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The front camera for your selfies is at 16 megapixels with an aperture of f2.0. And because it's 2018, the cameras are AI powered, meaning it will automatically adjust the settings depending on the subject and the lighting situation. Here are some of the pictures that we took. You get vibrant images that can be overly saturated sometimes, so at the end of the day, you just have to trust your eyes and turn the AI off when it gets a bit too aggressive. The Honor 8X comes with a 3750mAh battery and with moderate use, could easily last a day and a half. We didn't like the fact that it only came with a micro USB connector which limits both charging and data transfer, although the device is capable of fast charging. So should you buy the Honor 8X? It's not a perfect device, but if you're looking for a mid-range phone that won't break the bank and offers value for money, you should definitely, definitely look into it. And that's it for this review. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell. For the latest tech news and gadget reviews from the Philippines, head to unbox.ph and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. This is Leia. Bye!